Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Tristan, and welcome back to another reaction video. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Toy Story 5, the official teaser trailer, 2026 with Tim Allen. It was from D23 2024. I've been seeing so much from D23 on my Instagram feed, and it looks like so much fun. Um, as you guys know who have been following and watching this channel, um, I went to Comic-Con this year and I absolutely loved it. I got a Chester the Cheetah action figure, but um, because I had so much fun at Comic-Con, it really seems like I would really enjoy myself at D23. A lot of the previews looked so cool. I loved the live action Lilo and Stitch. Um, I'm definitely so excited for that one next summer. Uh, live action Snow White not a big fan of a lot of people aren't i'm pretty sure it even has more dislikes than likes but i could be wrong um, but our reaction to that live action snow white and thank you to so many of you guys who commented to react to that um that one will be coming out soon but today we're going to be reacting to the official teaser trailer 2026 with tim allen d23 uh, 2024. I'm really excited to see this right now. I love Toy Story, so for this next chapter, Woody, Buzz, Jesse, and the entire gang are returning for Toy Story 5, and this one's also going to be, oh, this one's coming to theaters summer 2026, and I believe the Lilo and Stitch live action is coming in 2025. So that's going to be really cool that this will be one year after. At first, I was like, thinking if they're going to come out in the same summer in the same year they were going to be competing against each other but I think it's smart for Disney to kind of stagger these films in terms of the years that they're coming out in because I think they'll get more bang for their buck that way. Um, my partner is also really excited for this film. Um, in terms of the story the only thing that I'm aware of is that the toys in this new Toy Story 5 are going to have to compete with iPads and electronics um, to take care of their kids, which I think is so relevant and so cool. So I grew up in a time when me and my friends still went outside and played. Yes, we had video games. Yes, uh, we'd play Pokemon, but at the end of the day, I still feel like we were right at that cusp that still had those sandlot type childhoods where me and my brother would wake up every morning, ring everybody's doorbells, and we would all go outside and either play with our action figures in the dirt or make up some crazy imaginary world or play with our Nerf guns or go in the canyon and find a bunch of animals. Like we just had so much fun growing up and um, it does make me a little bit sad. I think the kids nowadays still are having fun, but it's a different kind of fun if you're always on your iPad. Um, and I think it's good to experience all types of fun. So I think the storyline for this Toy Story 5 is going to be incredibly and exceptionally relevant to the um, kids that are growing up nowadays, which makes me even more excited to react to it. I'm also really happy that this next Toy Story 5 is maintaining a lot of the original voice actors for Woody, Buzz, and Jesse, um, like Tim Allen. I think it is so smart for Disney to stay true to their original stories, especially because I believe Pixar was its own studio before Disney bought it, just like Marvel, just like Star Wars, just like all of these properties were before the amazing Disney conglomerate decided to incorporate them into their brand. And so what I will say is maintain the magic that created these brands in the first space, that created Pixar, that created um, Walt Disney Animate, that, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Walt Disney Animation has the most magic, so they should know how to preserve the magic of other brands when they bring them in. So maintain the magic of Marvel, maintain the magic of Star Wars, maintain the magic of Pixar, and don't remove what made these brands and stories so great in the first place. And I do think one way that they're doing that is by maintaining all of the original voice actors in the original Toy Story, such as Woody, Buzz, Jesse, um, and the entire gang. So I'm so excited to see this. Obviously, one of my favorite characters has always been Bo Peep, so I hope she's still in Toy Story. I don't think she has been for a very long time, but if you guys do know, please let me know. 
Um, and also just let me know who your favorite character is. I also like Prospect Pete, is that his name? Or Prospector Pete. He was really cool. Um, he was a cool villain. Lotso was a cool villain. I always think Toy Story just has the awesomest villains too. They're always so complex. They have such deep um, backstories that motivate them. Um, so I think it'll be so cool to see how electronics are the villain in this next Toy Story. Because I believe that's the way that they're headed. Um, and this is also from IGN's YouTube channel, by the way, so you guys can go ahead and check this out on their channel if you would like to. Um, but for today's video, I'm going to be reacting to it on my channel, and I am so excited to get into this reaction right now. Uh, please let me know what your guys' favorite part of this um, Toy Story 5 official teaser trailer is for 2026. Let me know who your favorite Toy Story characters are. Um, also, let me know if I'm missing out by not going to D23. If I do end up going to D23 someday, I'll do my best to vlog that experience. Um, I filmed my first vlog, but I do need to edit it. It was my intention to vlog for Comic-Con, but we might have to do that next year. Um, but as we continue to grow this channel and the playlists, if there are things that you guys would like me to vlog, please let me know and I'll do my best to vlog those experiences and get them on this channel for you all. And um, with that, let's finally start this reaction to Toy Story 5, the official teaser trailer 2026, Tim Allen, D23, um, 2024. So this was revealed two years before it's going to come out, this teaser right here. I'm so excited to see this. I've not seen it yet. Um, it's going to be a raw reaction, just like all of our reactions on this channel. So it really is my first time experiencing and watching all of these cool pop culture moments with you all for the first time. And uh, with that, let's start this video. <coughs> I love how they have the claw like right off the bat. The aliens in the claw machine used to be my favorite characters growing up and when I went to Disneyland I used to buy like the box. There was like a little uh, cylindrical box set with all the aliens in them and like a little claw. I love those aliens and I remember buying it and playing with that box set so much growing up. Um, I wonder what the claw is going to grab right now. <coughs> It's the aliens. I love these aliens. They're really the best, like, thing, character, invention in Toy Story. They're even better than the villains like Lotso and Prospector Pete that I mentioned earlier. I love Disney Pixar so much, and I'm so happy that this teaser had the little alien in it. I wonder if more characters are going to make an appearance in this teaser right now. Um, comment down below if you guys think it, they're going to have any more characters from Toy Story hop in this teaser. Uh, because they said Tim Allen, I am expecting to see a little bit more, but um, let's continue this video. I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, there's Jesse, Woody, and Buzz, Toy Story 5, but they look kind of still, so I wonder if they're going to start talking. I really want them to start talking. <laughs> Yay! I wonder what Woody's going to say. He looks so cool. I used to have all of these toys growing up. Woody had his little Andy written on the bottom. I think I painted over the Andy and I put my name because I, I wanted the Woody to be mine. So, um, yeah. I did that when I was a little kid. Oh, he didn't talk. He just waved. I saw on Instagram someone paint a really cool mural of Woody for a children's hospital. They were a very talented painter. Um, Jessie's about to come on the scene right now. Oh, she's all winking at us. But I'm kind of bummed that they're not speaking. I really wanted to hear them speak. I, I wonder if Buzz's character is going to speak right now. It must have been so cool to see this at D23. There's Buzz giving us the little salute. Space Cadet. I always loved Buzz. That was actually my grandpa's name was Buzz. So that's funny. Um, on my dad's side, on the western side. Look at him saluting. Toy Story 5. I wish he would have talked. That's probably the only thing that I will say about this teaser trailer is I really wish we got to hear Buzz talk. That was a cute little salute that he did. That was probably my favorite part of this teaser trailer right here. 
Also, do you guys think they're gonna do a Toy Story 6? Because they're already on 5, and I wonder what the villain's gonna be on 6. And also, do you think the technology's gonna be animated? Like, have... Like, do you think they're gonna be personified, or they're just gonna be electronics? Let me know. I love this song. Alright you guys, that was Toy Story 5, the official teaser trailer 2026 with Tim Allen, D23 2024. I'm bummed that we didn't get to hear Tim Allen speak, um, but I thought it was really cool. I loved this trailer, I'm so excited. I do want to go to the Disney convention um, eventually, so um, keep sending me more stuff to react to. Check out our Disney Reactions playlist. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel for more reactions. Thank you again for 2,000 subs recently. We're, we're on our way to 3K. Um, and also, make sure you guys join our 100% free VIP email list for new streetwear fashion items because in the past, our Disney-inspired wear have been some of our best-selling products. So if you guys want some more Steamboat Willie or stuff like that, let me know. And with that, I will see you guys in our next reaction. Mm -hmm.